Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. In this episode we're going to take a look at my nozzle construction. and It's the nozzle of a Da Vinci Pro 1.0. And we're going to take a look at it and I have several cameras set up, one over there and one here. So I can show you uh, the actual footage of how it looks like. So, here we go. So, here we've got uh, the module that you can insert in your printer. And with this module, uh, there are a few things that you should know. Normally, when this is installed inside your printer, the filament goes in like here. And this is a switch. This switches to see if there is some filament going along this path. And if there is, then the printer sends a signal, or, or the, this block sends a signal, uh, that there is actual filament almost in the, the nozzle. Then normally this would be here and the nozzle would be on top here. And this is the part that holds everything together. So this part is part of the heat break because the nozzle gets very hot. This element gets really, really hot. And when it does then uh, the, the, the heat will be transferred through this pipe, which is here, and which is part of the heat break system. So this will get hot, this will also get a little bit hot, and uh, the way it goes to the top, it will cool down even more and more and more, until it's completely cool when it's here. But when the filament goes in like this, and it pushes through, then you want the filament to only melt when it's inside the nozzle. So to prevent it from melting any earlier, there is also this special, it's not nylon, but it looks like nylon, this special inner tube. And this is placed like here, so that uh, when the, the filament goes through, uh, this prevents the filament from getting hot because this part is hot. So if we take a look here, then you can see that this consists of this, yeah, the, this nylon-like part, which is very, very heat resistant, which goes in here and then your filament goes through there, like this. So this is how it should work. Then the filament goes inside here into the nozzle. And well, let's zoom in a little. So this nozzle has a clock and it's a pretty heavy one. Uh, when I bought this printer, there was something to push through and uh, it was exactly 0.4 millimeters thick. Uh, but I don't have that anymore and uh, well, it's a bit of a difficult now because I don't have anything that is thin enough to be pushed inside here because that's what you actually want so now what I did and I hope my camera can zoom in a little just to show you guys I took some guitar wire this is the higher E string of my electric guitar and um, this has a thickness of 0 0.22 yeah, 0 0.21 so in theory this should be good to unclog this nozzle So I hope it is, and let's find out. Uh, but to do so, I have to hold this nozzle, sorry, like here. I must be very careful not to heat in this cable too much, uh, because then uh, I won't get it good anymore. Here I got my gas torch. 
and I'm going to heat up this part here. And I must be very careful because with all this light I can't see it that good where my test torch is actually hitting the nozzle. Because I only want to heat up the nozzle. Normally if everything would be installed and uh, the nozzle would be longer and have all these other parts on it, you won't do this because then you have a serious chance of ruining your inner liner. And here we have got the guitar wire going all the way through. So the higher E string is thin enough to go all the way through. So now I really unclocked my nozzle. Showing you guys like this. But on the inside here you can see there is some plastic left. And we have to get that out as well. As you can see here, I took the wires of a resistor um, to be able to go inside here and to clean this up. And also I have to make sure that this is very nice and clean inside because this is what I have to reassemble again. this and it's extremely hot now so I have to be very careful with my fingers but I hope the camera shows it you can see through the nozzle now so there is no clock anymore inside this nozzle this is how I unclock my nozzle and there was something inside which was very, very well. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It, it was dirt, and uh, dirt can clog your nozzle and can give you real problems. So now I have to wait until this is cooled down, and then I have to reassemble this. And to reassemble this, uh, I have to make sure that this inner liner here, this piece of plastic, is pushed into this metal part of the hot end and I must not push it too far because if I push it too far uh, then it won't align up with, with the nozzle so um, what I have to do now is I have to place those two together but still it's too hot to grab so Wait until we hear the click. Here it is. So now, oh. It's pretty darn difficult to get this nice and straight. So always make sure it's straight and under a 90 degrees angle. We have to find out uh, where this pin will be, the correct angle for this pin. Because this is your sensor pin uh, that senses the bed to see uh, if your uh, bed is, yeah, is at a straight level. I don't use it, so for me, well, it doesn't really bother me. But uh, yeah, we have to find out how to get this aligned nice. Also notice that this heat break is now loose. Uh, normally there would be some paste in here uh, which is pretty darn poisoned so uh, be very sure to wash your hands. And I have to 
get this thing in and now we have to put on this screw here let's see if this works I think it should be fine to go again but we'll see Now, let's turn on the machine and see what it does. Okay, there is no error showing on the screen, which is also perfect. So, let's go and feed some filament. We're going to work with normal PLA. Uh -oh. Invalid mode, yes I know. I was wondering to go the other side. And then I hope it won't jam again, but it will actually pour out the nozzle like it does right now. Now I have to help it just a little. I don't have. Oh, it's going okay. So, if ever you have a problem with your printer that it's clogged, then now in this video you have seen how to unclog it. Uh, sometimes when the part is not that thick that's inside, uh, you can unclog it by just putting some uh, guitar wire, the higher E string, uh, through the nozzle up while the printer head is still in the printer. Uh, but if the particle that is jamming the nozzle is too big, uh, then it gets clogged because every time you push it up, it will find the opening again. And when it finds the opening again, it's clogged again. So then you have to, to unscrew the whole thing and uh, make it open, unclog it like I did, uh, like I showed you in this video, and then screw everything together again. And if you've done so, then your printer is fine again and you can start working with it. So it's not that difficult to, to repair your printer. If you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. I really need those thumbs up because then I know what I'm doing it for. Also, what I really, really need are subscribers. So if you're a DaVinci user, if you use a DaVinci Pro machine or maybe a Pro 3-in-1, then please subscribe to this channel. I'm not supported by XYC printing or by any other uh, material supplier or whatsoever so I have to pay everything myself and if I have more viewers to my channel and more subscribers then maybe it's easier for me to get something like support from the bigger companies. Also, uh, if you want to support me yourself, well it's possible. There is a link in the description down below where you can buy me a cold drink and if you do so then you really help me out because I have to pay yeah, everything for myself. So thanks a lot for watching. Next week there will be another video again. And I promise you it will be a nice video because we're going to do something. Um, well, I made a little mistake with my holder which is on the back of my printer. And I'm going to show you how you can prevent this from happening to you. So next week we'll be there again. Bye bye.